The FDA has approved the ProDisc L, a second generation artificial disc for use in the lumbar spine, a major breakthrough for patients with chronic back pain who until now have had no choice except spinal fusion surgery. Clinical trials of the ProDisc L have been very successful. Patients have found themselves resuming activities they'd simply given up because of severe back pain. Maureen Davis could barely walk three years ago when she had two artificial discs implanted in her lower back. Within a matter of months, Maureen was playing tennis for two hours at a time without a break and without pain. The Spine Institute in Santa Monica has performed more lumbar pro-disc replacements than any institution in the United States. Orthopedic surgeon Rick Della Martyr. The FDA approval is critical. It shows that the device is safe and efficacious and uh, ready to be used on the on anybody who requires it or needs it. The design is simple. Two cobalt chrome alloy end plates are anchored to the top and bottom surfaces of the vertebrae and an inlay made of ultra high molecular weight polyethylene fits between the two plates allowing natural movement. Sam Ross has had serious back pain for six years. He's been waiting for the pro disc to be approved because he didn't like the other options he was being given. They wanted to do a three-level fusion and when I wanted to do more investigation, I discovered artificial discs. And that's when I discovered the ProDisc. Dr. Della Martyr says the trend in spinal surgery is focused on movement. Everything is going non-fusion, restoration of motion. Sam is scheduled for surgery in October, and he has only one major goal. Pain relief, getting my life back. Dr. Delamarta also says the ProDisc L is unique because it is the first artificial disc to be considered superior to spinal fusion. For more information on ProDisc, log on to our website at ktla.com slash health. Marta Waller, KTLA News.